create your dream with success television. The most important point is to consider failure as a liberating opportunity. Too often we consider failure an end. It's the beginning. It's the time where you somehow have a punctuation in life where you realize it's a great time to take a break and move to something new. But with true heroic leadership, is not defined by being on a success spiral where you're on one of these uh, conveyor belts forever. But great leaders, they start out as a call to greatness to go out and slay some dragons. And all the folklore and mythology, any great movie that you've seen, and surely the reality of business folk heroes, they slay these dragons, they're off into a great success syndrome, and then something happens. They, get, they, they fail, a company falls apart. H. Ross Perot, the investment banks that he bought, uh, fell apart on him. Henry Ford, the first created two car companies that failed before he ultimately created Ford Motor Company. But it's their resilience from life's adversity that creates that transcendent greatness where they realize now they can really do something for society, for the business world, something larger than just going along that normal conveyor belt of life where you're not really too sure if your name is hyphenated with an institution that employed you. Is it you who made that world great or did somehow you help uh, just get carried along by fate? Now you know that actually you can be larger than fate, that you can somehow change the world. And it's the liberating quality of having failed that is perhaps one of the most important qualities of both of resilience, but of truly being a heroic leader. Create your dream with success television.